Hey, all you faithful watchers out there, Logman plays here. Coming back with the Silver Shroud Part 2, we're right where we left off, there's Kent right there. And uh, the next step in our quest is to listen to the Silver Shroud Station in Good Neighbor. So we're going to go over to Radio, the Silver Shroud Radio. So right now, you just sort of walk around and wait for, um, wait to get some information on the Silver Shroud. Here's the, uh, here's the announcement. Oh, here we go. Sell me and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wade. Going to get out the sharpshooter. Alright, so now we've got the info on what's going on. Let me turn it back to. So now we gotta go kill Wayne Delancey. This guy right here. What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have <laughs> gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me, you're dead. It's all about the aim. I have a really high uh, damage resistance. <laughs> So, I'm okay. Plus, the Silver Shroud armor is actually really good. So, we're going to grab some rounds, and then you want to leave your calling card. So, you'll just put it on there. And then we'll turn it back to Silver Shroud Radio. Friend of the show, Jerry, is here. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? It's on. <laughs> Holy moly, the silver shroud in the flesh. We're recording oh, no. it here. Death is coming for me. <laughs> oh man. So people react to it. That's pretty cool. The mayor likes outsiders. Sweet pip boy, brother. You hold on to that. Great. Great. The silver shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selby has been avenged. Shit, the shroud off Wayne. Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Yeah. You better believe it. So Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. He says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just breaking in the caps. So right now we're just listening to the, the radio thing that they're doing. So you listen to that. You keep the radio turned to Silver Shroud. And then you'll get the uh, you'll get the next quest marker. Just to deal with AJ. No, he's gonna do something about it. Gonna do something about it. Kids. His Keep have your hands children. where I can see. <clears throat> and hey, look at the clown. This is my turf clown. Not a clown on the shroud. And I don't appreciate what you call them. Trespasses. Yeah, speak of the shroud. Poison to kids, are we? Today you face. The Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, Christ's sake. We can't put you up to this. He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Threaten that shroud. Stop selling to children a miscreant. <laughs> this is probably my favorite part is the fact that you you get to um you get to be uh you get to pretend to like be the shroud oh that is how you do it folks wow things are getting super intense it's time to bust out the sharpshooter where it really where it really shines God, you can see some eyeballs in that. And there we go. And 
Let me search everybody. And then search him. Oh, got some right away. And then leave the calling card. Yep. You bad guys better look out. Alright, so we're going to talk to Whitechapel Charlie. So if you keep your radio tuned to the to the Silver Shroud radio, that should help you out a lot. Plus it's just, like, old-timey radio fun, which is just always cool. Like, I really liked the, um, and Fallout 3. Hey, Charlie. I'm looking My way for paying customers. Homer, like one of them wankers from the posters. Reminds me of our adventure against the Chelsea Mingler. You look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a miscreant named... I also really like the Third Whale. That's probably my favorite, like, bar restaurant place in, uh, in the Commonwealth. ...to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. You're set on meeting her for a fee it can be arranged. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? Also, I love Whitechapel Charlie's accent. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business that. Good luck. All right, there we go. Now we gotta kill Kendra. Also, this lady Magnolia, she's super cool. I like her a lot. Whoop. And now we're gonna go to. I'm not sure what's going on. Update. Oh, here we go. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. It was the Silver Shroud. Yeah, yeah. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Peace, brother. Now's our time, Peace. listeners. Justice is coming, a good neighbor. You'll see. Galaxy. All right, so we're gonna change radio. Go to radio freedom. And then on the map, you're gonna want to go see where you are, a good neighbor. And then Kendra. Is... Is she just outside? Okay. I think I guess I forgot about that one. <laughs> Alright, so here we are outside of, uh... Outside of Good Neighbor? Wait. Is Kendra in Good Neighbor? No, okay. She's, like, around the corner. Sorry, this part of the quest I don't remember as well. I hear something! You can just ignore those guys. They won't bother you. And I believe you want to go up here? Yep, you want to go up on this bridge. That's pretty important. Oh, kill these guys. Or that, that guy. What, what was that? That was weird. So you go up here. And then... You can take the elevator, but this is where it's telling me to go, so I'll just follow that for right now. Alright, so then... Where are they? I don't know, Preston, they could be anywhere. Catch you later. I actually really like the new VAT system. Um... I feel like it works really well with how this game, like the pace of like combat flows and stuff. And uh, oh, it's just good. So um, one thing I was talking about earlier, 
with the uh, radio plays and stuff was the one that was in Fallout 3 that would play sometimes on um, uh, Galaxy News Radio. It was the... Um, oh, now I can't remember his name. It was, the, it was the guy you find in Tinpenny Towers. And there's actually a quest along with it. It's like Manhandled Manservant is, I believe, the quest. And... Um, that there you go. I'll take those. Uh, I'll take those bullets. Manhandled manservant is the name of the quest. And all right, so here's Kendra. And you, you're the crazy one. So you just go work your way up the building, when and you're all good to go. When killer, you have no idea who we're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls. She actually like as you keep playing, like the villains could keep keep getting cooler and cooler. Speak of shroud. You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> <laughs> what we're gonna do is old school style. I missed. Line it up. Line it up. And then going for the. There you go. All right. Oh, she's still alive. There we go. All right. So, take that. You're gonna see this thing that says contract Shelly Tiller. Don't take that. If you're trying to just play it like like the shroud and like dispense justice, you don't need to take that. She is. Uh, I went and checked that out, and she is um, just a girl living in like a fort, and or the she lives at the National Guard like armory or whatever. She's super cool. You don't need to actually kill her or anything. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. You can if you want. If you want some caps or want to be more evil, but i really got into playing this as the shroud and like just dispensing justice and so i thought it would be fun just to just to like be strictly strictly you know just trying to dispense the justice and uh i don't know just help people out so i wouldn't i wouldn't kill shelly tiller you can if you want to but i would not okay so when you get back to good neighbor which is a fantastic town. I actually really like Good Neighbor. I like uh, I like Hancock. I like all these guys. So, you're getting Good Neighbor. Switch over that dial to Silver Shroud Radio. And just wait a second. Here we go. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Okay, so now we got to meet with Hancock. The mysterious mayor of Good Neighbor. Once you get in the state house, oh, and once you fall, uh, you gotta fall down the stairs. That's important. Once you get in the state house, I'm gonna go up here. These you know circling stairs. The out of City, right? And you're gonna go over to oh, Hancock. Guess what someone chest? tells me? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game in Good Neighbor. Keep that in mind. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? Speak as a shroud. This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the silver shroud himself walked out of a comic book in the mic den. Just priceless. You like can't talk a lot. scaring people. Bashing in a few faces. I respect that. So far. But I gotta ask one freak to another. Why the get up? Speak a shroud. Many have sought to pierce the shroud. <laughs> I love this quest. To no avail. Stay you, pal. Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Oh, I dig. Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two Bit Raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone... He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me. He needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own. Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons, but he's pulling up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment. But no one <laughs> is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? All right. So, after you talk with Hancock, you will get two quest markers to kill Northy and kill Smiling Kate. 
And so if you want to look at those on the map, they are here, which is just like a random spot. And so then they are also here, which is by Bunker Hill. So we'll go ahead and go to Bunker Hill real quick and kill. Whoops, I need to actually be outside first. So we'll go ahead and kill uh, Smiling Kate. She's actually really creepy. And then in the next video, we'll cover killing Northy and taking care of Sinjin. And that'll be the final part of the Silver Shroud's legacy. Okay, here we are at Bunker Hill. We got our guns already. And then you'll you can look right over there. And that's where Smiling Kate will be. So as soon as you pop up at Bunker Hill, you should spawn about here. Go ahead and jump down. She's super creepy. If it isn't the boy behind the costume, you've been really naughty, Mr. Shroud, making all my friends She so just looks really creepy. With your calling cards. Taking out Sinjin's favorite soldier. <laughs> Garvey, what are you doing? <laughs> now it's time to rip your goddamn heart out. You oh, okay. And so Let's Go ahead and take her out. You don't even really get that much of a chance to um, try to talk to them. She will just immediately become hostile after doing her little monologue. So, you just take out these radio guys. Believe there's one more. There you go. There you go in there. And that should be all of them. So, after you take care of these guys, uh, you're going to want to go over to Northy. So we will take care of that next time on Logman Plays. This is Logman, signing out.